morning guys, welcome to day six. So we didn't really vlog a lot yesterday, we had a bit of a day off. Um, you saw us at the MacArthur Glen outlet and then we decided to go to the cinema and we watched Jungle Cruise which was fabulous, lots and lots of puns, very funny. Backside of Water, great film. Just leaving the Marriott all packed up, I've been for a swim this morning, nice 70 lengths of the pool, ready to go. All full of breakfast, because we had another buffet breakfast. My review of the hotel, this Marriott in Swindon. For what we're paying for it, compared to yesterday's hotel, the, whole, uh, the Hilton, Double Tree Hilton, this is not great. It's not a great hotel. I mean, the decoration looks like something from the 70s. It looks like someone's vomited all over the carpet. It's just lots of yellows and golds and. Sorry, it's all been slapped in. And don't get me started on the bathroom, but let me show you. Beep beep. So, I'm really annoyed that we get paper cups, so I could only have two cups of tea, so one yesterday and one in the evening. I couldn't have one this morning because we can't wash them, so only two cups of tea. Now, excuse the state of the bathroom because we obviously had showers and got ready, but it's just really tired looking. I mean, the floor just looks bleh. I mean, the grout's all coming up. The bath's a bit gross. It's just not what you'd expect when you're paying what we paid for it. So, big thumbs down from us. I will not be rushing back to Swindon. <laughs> I know it's a very random place. The pool itself. What's your thoughts on the pool, guys? Yeah. David? Tired. Very tired. Again, not as nice as the double tree yesterday. Um, the pool area itself, because it's supposed to be quite it's supposed to be a nice health centre, leisure club. The changing rooms are awful. It's just as bad as our local swimming baths. Anyway, enough about that. We are getting on the road, heading up to Leamington Spa and Warwick. We're going to stop off at a National Trust property. Maybe have a stop off on along the way. Depends how busy it is. We've not decided yet. But we'd best get cracking and hit the road. Got a lot of stuff to pack in the car again. So we'll catch you at the next place. Yeah, put some milk. Gym, so we are not queuing up in the big shop, which is a two and a half hour queue. We're going in the pop up tent. It's got a small selection of things, but it's even here. Yeah, extra large, angry? Yeah. Clarkson's Farm. We didn't do much. We made a massive queue for food. Obviously, two and a half hour queue for the proper shop. But I think they're in happy because he just wants a t shirt and some milk. So, winning all round. Most expensive bottle of milk I have ever bought. How 
Five pound. About a pound. Anyway, gonna hit the road and go to a National Trust property. Another hour's drive now. Ooh. Let's get in. Forty-five minutes. Okay. So just arrived at um, a National Trust property called Charlcote Park. Um, surrounding area looks absolutely stunning. We have got tickets to go into the house, but it shuts really soon, so we're just heading there now. And then we'll have a wander around and get a coffee. How pretty is this place? The archway behind us, and then this estate and the house here. And there's these grounds. Lovely. So I think it's that way to the house. Now it wouldn't be the National Trust if there wasn't a cafe. I oh, want a shop. Big queue though. Well it's rude not to have coffee and a cake at the National Trust. What have you got? Victoria sponge. I've got coffee and walnut. I've got a flapjack over here. Where's your cake? Charlcote, is that how we say it? Charlcote Park. Um, nice expansive grounds that could probably do with a few more hours really. Um, gonna head off into Leamington Spa now I think. Is that the hotel? Where the ho well it's where the hotel is. Okay. Um, and check into our next hotel. I think we also need to do a bit of washing. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna meet Crazy Grandad. Because yeah. Crazy Grandad's coming in to join us on the rest of the trip. So as we were driving into um, the National Trust property, we noticed this little airfield here, and we noticed, or well, rather David did, that they had a Vulcan bomber. Yeah, random. And then we had a quick look at it, and you can actually come and see it. So on Saturdays, you can have permission to come and see it. So I'm gonna show you the Vulcan bomber. We have already had a tour of it, and we've actually, David, Harry and I, got to go in the cockpit. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. So here is the Vulcan bomber. Harry, how was that? Cool. It was really cool. Where have you just been? When the plane in the plane. We just went in the cockpit up there. Isn't there? It's quite roomy up there. You can, how many people can you fit in it? Five, wasn't it? Five people. 
I took a little clip of video. Insert. amazing in there and it's run by volunteers now and we just asked for a little bit of a donation so there's some money put it in the box by the, the bottom box. of the step obviously this is a live airfield here um, but the Vulcan bobber itself is it runs they can taxi it um, it's got all working parts like the only thing is it doesn't take off because this runway here is not long enough so when it last landed here the person that originally owned it, wanted to use it when, it's, when the RAF sold it off wanted to use it for displays etc and it landed here and the Civil Aviation Authority said actually you can't take off ever again because this runway here isn't long enough <coughs> so the guy that bought it had to leave it here and the owners of the airfield took him to court so that paying his fees and the owners of this little airfield bought it for a pound to settle his debts Apparently the business owner then bought another Vulcan bomber yeah. and has flied it in different places. He's flying it in South End. In South End. So he does do that for sort of commercial air, um, air shows and things like that. But it was really, really cool. Nice little find. Do you want to be in the RAF now? Flying planes. He likes the, uh, the bomber's job. The bomber's, oh no. I also like the job where like the, uh, the missiles coming in, you put, and you like drop all the stuff. It's gonna drop all the bombs. <laughs> but why would you drop a flare? Isn't a flare just like fire and stuff? Yeah, just distract them. Right. Should we go and find Emily and then go, now go head, head to the hotel? Yes! Thank you, sir. Just doing a holiday in room tour. Obviously, Harry's just done the bed test. Yep. So we have got. David doesn't cover standard. Two double beds again. We've got nice bedside tables, which we like because it's for all of us. Ooh, that is the best one yet. Um, Wait, what? Oh, the best comfy? Yeah. I don't mind the decor. Brownish, greenish. Wardrobe with the usual stuff in it. It's got an ironing board, an iron. Um, Harry. I'll put you in there. There we go. That's what you can fit in the wardrobes. You've got a TV, which isn't as big as the others. You've had nice big mirror and desk area. Lots of storage if you stay in. And it's got tea and coffee. Tucked away in here. It's got PG tips, but we'll, we'll try to let them off. We need to go in the bathroom, guys. And the bathroom. Oh, that's a big mirror. I like that. It's a good big mirror. Um, it looks nice and clean. Nice, nice smooth lines. No rubbish tiles. Yay! Clean. It looks oh, so much nicer than yesterday's shower. So fresh and so clean. Well, let's do the count, the towel count. Oh. So on every hotel room we have stayed in so far, there's always been four guests checking in. And we always get three towels. Let's do the cow towel. Ta cow towel? Cow towel cow cow count. How many towels have we got? Ooh, One. No. Two. No Any other towels anywhere, guys? Is this one or is this a fat mark? Any other towels? No, do it. Do it. So we have the wrong number of towels for the wrong number of guests again. Nothing here. And we get one packet of biscuits. The four of us. Anyway, looks like I'm phone housekeeping again. But nice room, nice clean, not like vomit like yesterday. Mm. 
just heading out for dinner. I uh, found this on the internet. It's a place called the Saxon Mill. It's right by the river. Hello. Hello. So we are back home from the restaurant now, had a lovely meal. Um, I, I had prawn linguine with chorizo and tomato. Um, the kids had linguine too, so it did need a lot more flavour to the kids' linguine. David had some chicken and breadcrumb dish and Alan had the, what did he have? The half, half chicken or something, I don't know. Half roasted chicken, that was it. It was a really lovely meal. Um, service wasn't great. Um, I think we missed the memo about it being a nightclub. It's a great environment, but it was like really loud. I sound like an old lady. Really loud music. Um, everybody was really dressed up. I think we felt a little bit out of it, but it was beautiful surroundings and a lovely place to have dinner. Back home in the Holiday Inn now, just settling down because we are going to Warwick Castle tomorrow. So that is where I'm going to leave this vlog for today. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Hope you've liked today and yesterday. Leave some comments down below. Have you been to Diddly Squat Farm? Have you watched the series? Uh, they have. Um, leave some comments down below and I'll see you.